Hi everybody, this is Lubomir from Sports Pacific. This is going to be another self-defense technique for us, examining what to do if someone actually approaches us or attacks us, how to intercept them, how to hurt them, to give ourselves an opening to either escape or to follow up and really put them down. This technique is also useful if we want to initiate an attack. If you feel that danger is imminent, your best bet is to attack them before they attack you, which by the way is always a good idea. This is a good technique for that as well. So Amir and I are going to be demonstrating a jab to the eyes followed by a knee strike or a strike to the knee followed by an eye jab. So my assistant Amir here is going to play the attacker. Essentially I'm looking at a range of attack either from kicking range or from striking range. Either I'm able to reach him with my leg or with my hand. Now again, this can be applied whether he's attacking me or whether I decide to attack him. There are two ways to go about this. It's basically my two favorite techniques. It's a jab to the eyes and it's a strike to the knee. To the knee, I'm going to be striking either with the ball of my foot or the toe of my shoe, or I'll be striking with the instep, the arch of my foot, in this manner here. One of these, the kick flip here, I'm going to be essentially kicking his kneecap up and into his leg, tearing the patellar tendon or maybe even breaking his knee. Pop, like that. The arch strike, the oblique kick to the knee, I'm going to essentially try to collapse his joint. As you can see, boom, if I were to follow through, it will go through the leg. The eye jab is taken from the word jab is in boxing. It's a similar process or a similar idea where I'm relying more on speed than on power. This isn't something where I have to wind up and muscle into. It's a very quick strike. I'm opening all my, hand, my fingers out because I don't know which finger is going to land. So I want to increase the chances of something landing. So I'm going to throw all five fingers. When you're practicing this, reach and touch the eyebrows or the forehead. Obviously not the eyes. So let's start from upstairs and work downstairs. It could be here. I'm going to come out. He's either coming at me or I'm coming at him. I have my hands in a position, not in a position that's going to threaten him and make him think that I'm attacking, just in a position that I'm ready. I could even be working like this to try to calm him down. From here, I'll reach up, jab him in the eyes, and right away as he reacts to that, and he will react. Even if it doesn't hurt him, he's going to react as a reflex. I'm going to follow up, boom, with a strike to his knee. From here, I'll jab, strike, or jab, strike. This is a good one if, for example, he's coming very close to me here, boom. It's not something that he's going to see coming because it's not something that's coming from the side. It's not a big swing. I'm not talking back for it. He's just coming in and he'll walk right into it. That gives me then an opportunity to then crush his knee. Another thing is that if he's coming at me and I want to be able to attack him before he gets into arms range, so back up for a second. If I want to catch him before he gets into arm range, he can come, boom, I can stop him right there. It's going to create enough of a shock, enough of a reaction to where it's gonna, he's going to pay attention to it for just long enough to where I'll be able to follow up and immediately go into his eyeballs. Each one gets a sharp pain, each one gets a sharp reaction. So again, I can either go one, two, or one, two. After that, it's your call what to do. I could either run away, but if I feel that the threat is not eliminated, this would be my time to follow up with my more dangerous weapons, my more devastating weapons, or I could essentially hit one, two, and keep jabbing at the eyes, keep striking at the knee. That's for future videos. So again, whether he's coming at me, stop, hit, or whether I decide to come at him, one, two, works like a charm every time. Promise you, this is my favorite technique.
All right, so thank you very much. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you to Amir for joining us today. Lubomir with Sports Pacific, www.sportspacific.us.